Hello, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive. And tonight I got something exciting to share with you guys. I just got a brand new Amiga 500. Yeah! Never owned an Amiga 500 before. Um, always wanted one. Used to go into, uh, here in Texas, they were in the Radio Shack. I could go in the Radio Shack and I would see these Amigas and look at them and, and just like amazed. Everybody knows the Amiga ball, that spinning ball. And uh, just the coolest demos on there. Um, I had my Commodore 64 then. It was still good doing everything that I needed. I, I knew my parents wouldn't be able to you know, afford to get me an Amiga 500. They were quite expensive and I definitely couldn't afford it as a kid, but here I am to add to my Commodore family. I now have an Amiga 500. This video, I just wanted to introduce you to it. There's a lot of different things we can do on the Amiga 500 and while I learn, I'll just share with everybody what I'm learning, what I'm doing, and I hope you share your advice of what I should try out and what should I do on this Amiga 500. Just excited to add it to my retro computer collection and I haven't powered it on yet, so I'm gonna power it up and see if it even works. So one of the big things that I had to learn to do with the Amiga is how I'm going to hook it up to a monitor just like the problem that I had with the Commodore 64 and using uh, current monitors for the day VGA monitors I had to figure out how I was going to hook up my Amiga to it so I did a little research and I came across this Amiga VGA adapter this actually I got off of eBay so I'm excited to see if this works so I've got everything I need to see if it's going to turn into either a project or turn into something very cool where I can learn all the different features and all the different things we can do on the, with the Amiga 500. So it actually came in pretty good. It's, it's pretty clean. Um, I did a little clean up on it, but there's not a lot of yellow to it. I'm just gonna hook it up to my VGA adapter and I'm gonna hook up the power supply and see if it works. So really excited, kind of feels like Christmas. Let's get started. So this is my first ever Amiga 500. Uh, I purchased it about a month ago and have had nothing but issues trying to get this thing up and running and working uh, because of the seller I bought it from, unfortunately. And, and that's why I had to buy this new power supply from Poland that I hope is going to work. We're going to test it because the power supply that the seller sent to me was a Commodore 128 power supply, which does not work with the Amiga 500, which is just ridiculous, right? So this is what I get sent to me. And this is the kind of stuff you run into in retro buying. And, and I, I know the chances that you take, but unfortunately the, the seller could not get me the correct power supply. So it's been a little bit of struggle back and forth, but I just took it on my own and reached out to the folks in Poland and ordered me a power supply. So let's take a look at this Amiga 500. It looks pretty good. I've cleaned it up a little bit to make it a little bit prettier than it was when I got it. And I'm hoping that everything on here works key-wise and everything. Um, I've got... Like I said, the VGA adapter right here plugged directly in. So I'm hoping that'll work. I'm fixing to plug my power in to give this a test run. Uh, serial port, disk drive, I don't have any of that. Uh, audio out, I haven't messed with anything dealing with the audio yet. And then the two ports here at the end for the joysticks down here. Uh, got the drive built into it. It did come with the seller sent me this workbench 1.2 floppy, which I don't know if it works or not. Like I said, it's never been turned on yet. Uh, when I got it, it said test it and it works. Uh, the seller said that, that it, it was working and that it's supposed to work. But like I said, with the Commodore 128 power supply, it really didn't benefit me. 
and I'm not sure why he couldn't get me a real power supply to fix it, but he couldn't, so that's okay. Here I am, solved it my problem myself, got this Amiga here to try out, and we're gonna turn this on here in a second and see if it works. All right, it's already running, so let's give this a shot, guys. First time trying this Amiga, see if it works. I got my power supply in there, got my VGA adapter. Let's see if we get anything at all. Well, the screen's changing colors. That's a good sign. I got a red light on the power. I got a green drive light running. Sweet. This is freaking awesome. So the first time I've ever had an Amiga loading up right next to my Commodore 128 and my Commodore 64. And I got a Workbench Release 1.2. I got some free memory, nine, 948,280 free memory on here. And I got a Workbench 1.2. I did not get a mouse with this. So just like I didn't get a power supply that worked or a way to hook it up to uh, a monitor. So it looks like I am going to be needing a mouse because I'm not sure how to move that arrow. Let's see here. I think these, I'm gonna try these arrow keys to see if they actually move. And I read you push down the Amiga key and that moves it around. Cool. So I can move it at least. I don't know how to right click. Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, it's up and running and working. So, so far everything that I've tested is working. We've got to test this keyboard and see if it works. And I figured out how to move the arrow key, the mouse cursor around, but not sure what to do after that. So, very cool. My first Amiga 500. You guys got to tell me what do I need to do with it first? What should I check out? What should I try? A lot of cool stuff that I would definitely want to dive into and do a deep dive on the Amiga 500. So excited that I finally got this up and running and it looks like everything's working as far as I can tell. So going to do a little bit of reading and let's see what else we can do with this uh, and add to this video. So excited. Wow. An Amiga 500. So cool. All right. So after a little reading. I figured out that the alt key and the Amiga key on the can do your left and right clicking. So I've got the Workbench 1.2 to open up here. Let's go here to demos. So I've got dots, spots, boxes, and lines demos. So let's see if I can get the hang of this a little bit and moving around the cursor without a mouse. Let's just do dots. So fun playing around with the system you know nothing about and trying to figure out what you can do. So luckily there's a lot of cool Amiga YouTube channels out there. Uh, one of my favorites is the 10 minute Amigo retro cast by with with Doug. I uh, really enjoy his channels and learned a lot watching those. But I am needing a beginner of the beginner basic of the basics right now. So I'm so happy that this worked. The power supply from Poland came through like a champ. Uh, and the, the VGA adapter worked perfectly, so now I got that working up on my VGA monitor. Those items are great. I definitely need to get a mouse for this Amiga because I learned that it's very difficult to move around without the mouse for this Amiga. 
so happy that it's working, so happy that you know I got a new thing that I could share with you guys and we'll make lots of videos about this too in a journey along the way. Just a good day overall. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. And until next time, thank you for joining me on another floppy deep dive.